everybody. Uh, it's John here. I'm heading up that way to the top of Springer Mountain to start my hike. Yesterday I slack packed it to there, did the approach trail. Now I'm going to take full pack up there and then I'll come back through here. I'll show you where I got dropped off. That's the parking lot over there that uh, Tiffany dropped me off at. It's a six and a half mile dirt road. Very rough dirt road, but not too bad all the way up here. So let's get started. I'm right here at the top, about to crest up on the Springer Mountain. For those that don't know, you can do the approach trail, which is eight and a half miles, which I did yesterday, slack packing. And then to start the trail this morning, I hiked with my backpack up 0.9 miles so I can officially start up here. I'll let you, it, my start doesn't really begin officially until I hit that white place. Here we go. We'll go with the other side. Last little stretch. Sorry for any jiggliness. It is pretty rocky. Made it. Look at that uh, money shot from the other day. It's a plaque. Big axe. I'm not carrying a big axe. First stripe. First white place. <sighs> this is a one mile climb, basically. Straight Second up. sign here. Appalachian Scenic Trail, Springer Mountain, elevation 3782, Southern Terminus. The Chattatoogie National Forest. I'm here with a ridge runner at the top of Springer Mountain. Yay. Your name is uh, Tanya, aka Tanya. Monarch. I threw hiked in 22. She's here to make sure that you know all questions are answered and everyone's using leave no trace yeah. and, and doing all the right things. Doing so. all the right things. Ambassador for the uh, starting trail. at mile zero, getting you doing all the right things. <laughs> Very cool. Well, thank you for uh, all your hard work out here. No problem. Believe it or not, she gets paid to do this, right? So that's cool. I, I, I fooled them, right? I figured out a way to get paid to hike the AT now. So. <laughs> Uh, that's the way to do it. So much for six months leave the absence here. Yeah, right. I'm moving on, guys. All right. Happy trails. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay. I'm starting back down the trail. First few steps. That was fun up there, huh? Meeting a trail runner, which is just someone to make sure everything's going right. Get people started right. What a job, huh? Climb that mountain in the morning. Climb down the mountain in the evening. Stand around on the mountain. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm here with Mountain Squid, a uh, fellow CB, uh, Navy man. Uh, what's your name, sir? Ski Falls. Ski Falls. Uh, so, Mountain Squid, have you done uh, AT before? I did. It took me three seasons, three but seasons? I did the whole thing. 2004, five, and I finished in six. Very cool. Yep. Uh, sir, uh, have you? I'm the class of 2017. Did the whole thing. Very cool. So you're Very the cool. class of 2024. I'll be looking for you next year in the yearbook. So. All right. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Well, it's nice to meet y'all. Nice That's what you. this is all about, making friends and meeting people. See, See you in the all right. Yeah. All right. A couple miles in on the trail. <laughs> this is a lot different than the approach so far. And that got me thinking about Jamie. Uh, for those that don't know, uh, mine and Jamie's first date started, and second date started with a hike. The first date was at Cedar Falls over by Pettigeen State Park in um, Maumelle. Arkansas and um, that went really well uh, it was just really good our date lasted 
was, I think it was like 15 hours. We started off with lunch, and then a hike, then dinner, and then a movie, The Last Mohicans. It was always, uh, it was always uh, a very special movie to me and Jamie, The Last Mohican, because it was our first date, and that was a movie we watched. We also watched Pastor 57. But more importantly, <laughs> our second date, <laughs> You know, I was 24, she's 23. I took her back up to Pettigene and we did a four mile hike. And in that four mile hike, um, we didn't take water and it was 95 degrees. It wasn't like the short little one mile hike to Cedar Falls and it was cool. It was, a, it was, it was something else and I'll never forget it. Cause she, she's like, oh, I'm so thirsty. I can lick the bark off a tree. <laughs> we were pretty thirsty big lesson learned about going out even in a park in a 95 degree weather without water hiking uh it was just longer than we thought and very hot and lots of perspiration wasn't exactly her favorite date came across a nice little waterfall of course i'm now in the what they call the green tunnel but Y'all can see it there. Just went by stealth camping. I guess this is an iconic bridge here. This is the first bridge I've crossed. So we're gonna cross it. I appreciate those that built it so I don't have to get wet. Well, hi everybody. I'm about four miles in. Feeling good. I'm drinking. Drinking plenty of water. As you can see, it's almost empty getting there uh, it is a nice pleasant day uh, so far it's been mostly downhill so I'm thinking the last half of my day is going to be going up so very pretty I'll leave you with the running water here I just made it to three forks which is as you can see a nice river it's not a river but a stream running through and very popular, look at all the cars. Lots of people down here doing day hikes. Very popular, Long Creek Falls. Wow, huh? The water, I just refilled on water down by that roadside and I guess some of that water poured over these falls. Wow. Glad I didn't pass it up. Let's see if we can get a closer look. Nice. I can see why everyone's walking this way. Beautiful waterfall. Not bad for the first day. Pretty. I'll see you guys. Campsite. I did eight miles on the trail today, and if you count going up to the top, I did nine. Not bad. This is my tent setup. I'm at Hawks Mountain Shelter, and if you look around, there's a lot of people there. There's a shelter. Everyone's pretty much staying away from it because of Noro. Um, just kind of staying up by our tents. So I'm about to eat dinner. Uh, dehydrated meal took eight ounces of water I think I have enough water to I'm gonna drink some water and I'll go down and filter some more water clean myself up and get ready for bed um, maybe do a little bit of editing so in a day one good morning everyone it's the beginning of day two I just packed up camp there's about 30 people there I'm one of the first out but I don't know just I'm not into sleeping in till nine and trying to hike I'd rather just get the day started. I think that comes from work. Um, anyways, I want to try to knock out 11 miles today. Uh, let's see. Yeah, uh, almost 12. We'll see. Uh, when I get, uh, I guess about seven miles in, there's a uh, um, shelter called Gooch Shelter. If I'm feeling good, I push the next four miles to the next shelter so 
Uh, it's another beautiful day. Rain is on my mind. <laughs> uh, how I'm going to handle it. Uh, it's no matter how you slice it or dice it, rain is rough. So, anyways, I see you down the shelter. I just uh, down the trail. I just got water. I'm waiting for that treatment. I filtered it. I'm waiting for the aqua tabs to work. Takes 30 minutes. I'm gonna have to camel up a little bit. I, there was no water I could find at that shelter. Um, so I'm pretty thirsty because I ran out first thing this morning. So you can hear the birds. The sun peeking over. It's gonna be a hot one. 72 degrees. that mountain there. <laughs> it's not as big on the video as it is the first I'm gonna have to climb that mountain. <sighs> Georgia's grueling. But let's make haste and get her done. Well <laughs> I'm about halfway up that mountain I told you I had to climb. It's a doozy. <sighs> a couple thousand feet already. And guess what? Dun, dun, dun. Stairs. <laughs> That's the way it goes. Those down must come up. I have conquered the mountain. <laughs> that was a doozy. You can see out there the, the top lines. It's misty. It's smoky out here. and It's not the Smoky Mountains, but that's the mountain done. Hey everybody, I'm here with Chris. He's uh, a, uh, a, ridge a ridge runner, just like Tanya was uh, a couple days ago. So uh, that's, well, I guess that was yesterday, actually. That's pretty cool. So you can see they're up and down the trail. So uh, he's been real friendly and giving me great information. So you can see, uh, you know, there's there's no banjos and, and things out here. You guys don't have to worry about me. <laughs> see you later. As y'all can see, the trail is very popular. Heading down the hill to water. There's a whole bunch of people out here. A little chit chat. Sometimes they'll go an hour, two hours, don't see anyone. Then they see a whole bunch of people all in the same 15 minutes. All right, there's a stream down there. I was out of water when I got here. The last stretch, about four miles without water. It's not quite that bad going we forward. Epic green tunnel here. All right, just past the spring, so or, uh, the running water. I have lots of stuff likes to grow around water, even then it's a ways away. But this is definitely what they call the green tunnel. Everything is blooming. Spring is in the air. All right, I'm going to try to cross these rocks here. Y'all can see there's a nice stream. I better not drop my phone. Ah, thank you guys. We got a whole bunch of people here. Hey everybody. Arkansas hiker here. I'm closing in on the my second day on the trail. And uh, tomorrow will be my third. 
coming into Mills Gap and then taking the day off after 40 miles. It's a little early, but I'm kind of shocking my body here. So, uh, but what I wanted to do is, I don't know, I've just been walking, trotting along here. It's hot, reminds me. I've just been thinking about Jamie and reminding myself it's hard out here. It's hot. It's hot, guys. And uh, sometimes these climbs are, they just seem like they go on forever. But that just reminds me of some of the stuff that Jamie would suffer through in order to be a good wife to me and a good mother. For instance, she supported me when I was in sport, uh, search and rescue uh, for a number of years. And she also supported me when I joined the Navy. And that meant a lot to me. Johnny was just a little boy, but that was a, that was a bucket list. It was a goal since I was a little kid to be a Navy officer and I had a lot of roadblocks. But Jamie was there, she was dressed up, and she supported me. She supported me through the Navy. She says she, you signed up for eight years, that's what I'm committed to. At the end of the eight years, I asked her if I should keep going, and she said no. She goes, you did your part. This is what we agreed to. Just move on and do other things. Well, I'm at the top of yet another mountain. Uh, but this one has a viewpoint worth exploring. It's not just about walking, right? Good morning, everybody. Uh, this is day three. Going to do 10 miles today. Uh, then I'm going to take uh, a zero tomorrow to do some film editing. It is sprinkling a little bit. But uh, forecast still not showing much rain. I'm at Woody Gap. It's where I stayed last night. Uh, look here. I got a toilet. That's a big plus, huh? <laughs> and uh, right here behind me, it's a parking lot. Apparently, you can see f quite the views around here. Uh, right behind me, I uh, just used that picnic table to have breakfast, kind of get things sorted before I started the day. All right. This is my first climb for the day. Woo! It's tough. It's just tough, guys. <laughs> but hey, let's get it. I am almost up this mountain this morning. There is a view. <laughs> However, it's cloudy. Very humid day. <sighs> a little bit more, but I hope y'all can make out some of this view. Still, very beautiful sight. Very nice. <sighs> Only took uh, about 30 minutes to make this climb. I still got a little bit left, but they slowed me down. <sighs> Let's keep going. Hey guys, check this out. I'm in the clouds. It's my first time to actually have to be in the clouds or obviously low hanging clouds, but I'm in the clouds. First time for everything here on the Appalachian Trail. Let's see if the first times ever do come to an end. But it's cold, but climbing that mountain, I'm, I'm sweating, so. It's like a yin yang experience. My body's super hot, but it feels cold on the skin. But hey, let's walk the top of this together. I can hear the birds. Can you hear the birds? They're just a chatting. So I'm walking down the backside of that mountain. 
these this little area here is what's called a water source just natural water coming out of the mountain from the top <coughs> spring water well, hi everybody i'm down here at lance creek which is uh the starting point for my ascent to blood mountain that sounds bad right maybe it's after my feet your feet will be all bloody by the time you get up there i'm not sure actually i heard it was uh something to do with indians and a massacre uh, that happened a long time ago so they call it blood mountain anyways it's quite the climb i'll show you what i'm about to do i'll put an overlay see you later so straight up that incline and into the clouds is blood mountain <laughs> imagine you can normally see it but i can't see it there's a lot of switchbacks in there but i'll get there Georgia. John here with the Arkansas Hiker. I made it. I'm at Blood Mountain, highest point in Georgia on the AT. I'm excited. It's all, surely it's all downhill from here, right? Uh, I'm going to explore here a little bit. I'll take you inside and then I'm going to head down to Neil's Gap. And I don't know if you can see, but I am surrounded by mosquitoes. So I, I would not want to shelter up here. Anyways, uh, just go inside, take a look around. So glad you're here. And let's move on. I can't wait to get down to Neil's Gap a couple of miles away and get myself a pizza. Hey, Blood Mountain Shelter. Let's go inside and see what's in here. This is the oldest shelter on the AT as well. Got a log book. I guess I'll have to fill that out. Oh, look at here. Used to be a fireplace in here. Now there's no windows. <laughs> and also, if you stay in here, you have to have a bear canister because the bear activity is pretty strong. So it's very clean. In all the photos I've seen, it's always been lots of hiker debris in here and stuff. Can you imagine up here building this? I'm guessing it's the CCC uh, back in the uh, day that built this. Interesting. Lots of warnings and occupancy and use in here. So again, Highest point on the AT and in Georgia and the oldest shelter in Georgia. Well, everybody, coming into Neal's Gap, which is a famous location on the Appalachian Trail. It's the first real good resupply point. It's also a spot where approximately 20% of all through hikers that attempt the AT quit. They also have amazing frozen pizza. <laughs> I say amazing because everyone's hungry. So, anyways, I hope you all enjoy the journey over. So, if you look, we'll get in there, you'll see a tree covered in shoes. That supposedly is all the hikers that have quit. They just said, screw it, and threw their tree, their, their hiking shoes up in the tree. More likely, it's people who've bought new shoes. So Neil's Gap. So in this case, the AT actually goes right through this building. There's the famous tree with all the shoes of past hikers who quit. <laughs> uh, the tree will not eat my shoes today. Made it. Made it to Neil's Gap. I'm gonna go in and we'll get some pizza and some electrolytes. Uh, but let me see, I'll let you walk up there with me. At this point, I've done 41 miles counting the approach trail. We continue.
Hi guys. Hi. Hi. So the Appalachian Trail goes right through this building. Great marketing ploy, because up here is a place called Mountain Crossings, which is where you get resupplies. Hello. So I'm here with a young gentleman. What's your name? Gabriel. Gabriel. Gabriel gave me a cheeseburger. So only the second piece of what they call trail magic. The other one was banana. So thank you, Gabriel. No Say hi to everybody in Arkansas. Hello. <laughs> Here's a, a world famous Neil's Gap Mountain Crossing frozen pizza. Tastes really good. Everyone loves it. So guys, I'm gonna get picked up here about 10 minutes and take a zero. Uh, then I'm gonna hit the trail again on Wednesday and try to get to Hawassi by Saturday. Take another day off. Hi everybody. Uh, I'm enjoying a zero day, my first one. I never thought I'd say those words, but I'm at Misty Mountain Inn and Cottages, rented a room, um, uh, ran into town, picked up a resupply Mike of food. Mike is a trail angel that shuttles drivers from the AT, uh, pretty well known. He took us to the grocery store, Walmart, and I found some meals and everything. Uh, hi, Mike, could you tell uh, folks a little yeah. bit about you? Hey, Will, but Suzanne and I, came up from Florida about 10 years ago. They call us four idiots up here. And uh, we love the mountains. We do some shuttling and trail magic. And uh, it's been nice meeting these folks here for sure. And we appreciate his his uh, kindness and his help in getting things taken yeah. care of. All righty. Thanks guys. I needed some other stuff, but man, this town is wiped out of hiker supplies. Uh, so I'm gonna order some stuff through Amazon, ship it to my next spot. Um, but let me show you around the place a little bit. It's owned by a, uh, Bill and Sarah Wash. They have these little cottages up here, here, behind here, uh, over here. And I'm in this main house, the red one, where they have rooms that they rent out to um, hikers like me. They came and picked me up at Neil's Gap, shuttled me here. I ordered some food. The road dash never ordered door dash my god it's expensive but hey you gotta do what you gotta do right it's like i can go get in the car here it makes me appreciate having transportation for once in a long time so uh, this morning i was surrounded by chickens i got some bread 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 bread, bread. oh you was a chicken want the bread you go chicken like a pizza what and then uh they have a pond and some white ducks. He owns all of them. He has a dog. He said all that stuff came with the houses when he bought it. So it used to be a hostel, but very nice place.